welcome bienvenidos today we're doing a long long overdue video we are doing an updated furnished apartment tour we moved in here back in november and it is now late august we're actually slowly prepping to move out we're currently like on the hunt right now but i wanted to at least show you what we have as of right now where we place everything where we got certain things just in case any of you are interested or want to pull certain inspiration or want to buy certain things we'll probably keep most of what we have right now except for little things here and there now this space is not completely done furnished organized exactly how i pictured in my eyes it's still not done but i wanted to again to show you what we have as of right now and as i'm walking you through i will also tell you kind of where i wanted to switch certain things where i wanted to add things take away just so you can kind of have an idea i may end up doing some of those things wherever we end up next we shall see but i hope you guys are excited for this video thank you for being patient with me and waiting for this video right here i already know this is going to be a long one so let's go ahead and just jump into it here's a quick overview of how it looks when you first walk in so we have our dining room area we have the kitchen a breakfast nook breakfast little bar the hallway to the bedrooms and the bathroom and then over here we have the living area we'll first start with the living room just because we're already in here our couch is from monarch sofas i will have the exact details for the size the material that we used everything will be in the description box but so far we love it it has held up pretty good within this past we've had this couch now for about like nine nine-ish months yeah i think it's been like nine months and so far it's held up pretty good sometimes we do have to go in like specifically in this area and kind of like fluff it up a little bit because that's where we sit the most but for the most part it has held up for us really really well and it did also come with a custom well it didn't come with it of course it's separate and it's it is extra to get the ottoman but it matches the couch this tray i get lots of questions about i got it from home goods of course i have my little yeti cup on there this knot decor I got from Target. And then I just have my Think and Grow Rich book on there. Pillows are from mainly from Home Goods, is where I get them. Home Goods, TJ Maxx. These artwork pieces I have gotten some questions about as well. These are from At Home. I don't know the name of them. Somebody has told me that they've tried looking for them online and they had a hard time finding them. I did buy them in store a while ago. Plant over here is huge first of all it goes all the way almost all the way up to the ceiling it's from a target and it was a little bit on the pricey side but it is a faux plant so obviously it lasts you forever and the size the size is great for the price that it was this chair i don't know we might get rid of these when we move who knows but i just have it there for now we also have one in our bedroom these i've had for a minute now these are from wayfair and then this here is actually it's technically a nightstand but i'm using it in here as more of a side table just for extra storage and i just like the way that it looks i think it looks very modern minimalistic and chic and also didn't break the bank it was i think it was definitely under like 150 bucks and i'll link it below too the book that i have is from amazon it's the down to earth book this vase is from home goods Ooh, one of my favorite room sprays it smells so good got it from target and then this lamp is from marshall's i believe i did used to have a different rug in this living room which i did love but it was kind of time to get a new one because that one was a very light color and it was starting to rip underneath and get really really dirty even though it was an indoor and an outdoor rug it was beautiful i still have it it's just stored at my mom's house but for now we have this shaggy rug from target it's so much more plush than the other one that we had it's so comfortable and if we have people over or even us when we're doing our little activities sometimes we'll do vision boards or we'll have like paint and sip nights so it's a lot more comfortable to sit on when we're sitting on the ground and that is where that's from let's move on to this side so we have this huge huge tv stand it's the perfect size for our tv and for the living room in general this is the ikea besta unit except this is 
quote unquote customized. It costs the same as their typical Besta unit, but because it's customized, everything comes separate. So I will also put all the details, exactly what items that I got to build it to look like this. Cause you can't go to Ikea and buy it like this cause they don't have this exact one. So it's perfect because like I said, our TV is pretty big. I think it's like a 55 inch screen and we still have lots of room. Like I have frames over there. I have a little flower, our diffuser. The lamp is from Wayfair. And then on here we have flowers, we have some photos and I like to use this TV stand particularly for storage because we have a lot of stuff. So in here I have my little mini at home gym. I store my weights on here. The weights up here aren't heavy, 10 pounds and this is like 15. And I put the heavier one like that's a 30 and then my 25, 20, 25s are down there. So I just kind of store my little bands, sm smaller weights. That way it's organized and put away when this is closed. In here, this is like kind of like junk notebooks, things like that. And then on this side, we have our games. Also kind of messy, but this is real life, you guys. We have our board games. We have our brushes for when we do our paint and sips. And then our books. We have a bunch of books. We also have some cookbooks in there, but it's all stored away even if it's messy in there sometimes you cannot even tell because all you do is you just close it up and that's it everything looks nice and sleek this basket right here i mainly have it there because we have cords back there that i'm trying to hide but this basket's really cute i got this one from i believe it was cost plus world market and then this little blanket i've had for a while this throw I just kind of threw it on there and this one is from Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. It's cute. More of like this light linen material. And behind this mirror, we have our heater, which we never, never used, which is why we have it covered. I just don't like the look of the heater. So I just kind of have the mirror laying over it. You can see it right there. And then I have my yoga mat down here, just kind of other mirrors, things that I don't want to be seen hidden back there and then you can't even see anything from the front. Let's move on to our dining room, which is not my favorite part, I'm not gonna lie. That's better lighting over here. It's not my favorite. I don't really love the table. I just don't really like the combination, but we've had this since we moved and it's just more functional than anything. I really wanted to switch this out for something better, but like I said, it did the job. So the table is from Living Spaces and it's nice. It's just the finish kind of clashes with the floor. It does have this little spinning thing in the middle. When you have guests over, you can put food on there and just kind of spin this around. The chairs we got from Walmart online, you can see they're kind of a little um, messed up. These originally came with brown legs and I painted them matte black so that they could go with these chairs over here. What I wanted to do originally was find chairs that were a little bit lower, this exact chair, just a little shorter and put them over here. I feel like that would have looked just a little bit better. And then I do have a mirror over here. This one is from Home Goods. It was like super cheap. I want to say like 25, maybe like 40 bucks, somewhere around there. It's a pretty big size. I did, however, want to switch this out for a circle big black modern mirror i think that would have pulled the black from this side together a lot better because it's just a little bit too light like on this side you know so that's kind of what we worked with there and then for our breakfast nook breakfast bar area i have these really nice japanese cherry blossom stems that i got from michael's and then this vase is from marshall's yeah i think i got it from marshall's have some magazines here, Essence, Vogue, I think I have Vogue in here. Magnolia, just kind of stacked up here, candle. These chairs right here, we got them off of Wayfair as well. It was kind of tough to find chairs for both the breakfast bar and for our dining table because our dining table is more of a counter height and this is more of a bar height. So the chair heights are different. That was a little tricky there. But moving along, we, by the way, our trash can is one of the simple 
trash bins pricey but i've had it with me for a few years now and it's sturdy it looks sleek and i freaking love it so our kitchen here's the deal with our kitchen it's kind of darker it does get a little bit of light because we have a door over there like uh, around the corner that leads to the bedrooms as well which is nice it's kind of a little bit more open not so closed off but our kitchen tends to get pretty dark which is also one of the things that i was like eh because i want to film more content in my kitchen so and i've gotten a few people tell me to like your kitchen's a little dark i totally i'm with you guys on that but it's worked for us so this is how we have it set up we do have minimal counter space we have our microwave right here because it did not come with the microwave so we did have to buy that and then i have my keurig right here as well it would have been better to have the microwave maybe like up here if we were able to or we could have even put it on that corner but on that side we don't have a plug to plug in any like electronics or appliances no plug whatsoever so there's that but that's where we have this and then our sink, of course, and some paper towels, fruit, a little fruit bowl, our knives. And then you can see the door right there that kind of leads to the other side. So let me show you kind of how, I'll just show you real quick how some things are organized in case you guys need like ideas or anything. We do have a really small pantry. So I used my bins that I showed you guys from Home Goods. I used these, stacked them up and put like all kinds of stuff in there and then we have like cereals and pastas in these that i got from i believe i also got these from at home ziploc bags paper plates and napkins and cups when we have people over our toaster and then our blender a few extra protein kind of like on the go proteins and there's that our rug we have a little rug in here too this one i got it from target i like how narrow and long it is and it makes it a little more cozy when we're barefoot and i'm like cooking or i'm in there our stove i do love it's really nice it's big it has five burners and then we also have this little area at the top we do have more storage up here i just kind of store things that we don't really use that much and then we have <laughs> some of you asked how we ended up organizing the spices and we really didn't organize much i really just put them in here just in the containers i couldn't find a lazy susan or a storage bin or anything that would go perfectly in here just size wise so i just kind of had to throw them in here hopefully we find a good storage solution in our next apartment and then we just have like vitamins and then other things on the top sriracha just canned foods things we don't really reach for that that often are up there in this cabinet sorry excuse the lighting but in this cabinet i just have more baking things i have pancake mix rice sugars protein powder sugar more sugar and just baking goods things that we don't really use again at the top baking dishes etc it's all up there and then i do have these kind of labeled these i got them all from at home or you can also find them at home goods i found a few of them there too so there's that and then over here we don't really have much over here we just kind of store extra trash bags our vacuum little extra parts and then we have paper towels and down here this is more of our broom closet ironing board and then our dyson vacuum our mopping stuff just the closet that you just want to keep closed and in the corner at all times pretty much that is living room dining room kitchen just kind of a quick little overview of that in our hallway we have a door here obviously and then our storage isn't behind it so it's a little bit like hard to navigate and then this is right here so it's small <laughs> but um here we have kind of like our towels extra things we have a lot of towels i just got new towels too and then we have extra stuff over here but it's a little messy in there so i'm not going to torture you guys with that moving on to our bathroom i actually really like our bathroom i think it's pretty spacious specifically this area when you go into the actual bathroom and close the door it's a little bit crammed in there but i like that 
you know, we can be like, I can be in here, wash my hands, wash my face, and then Darius can be over there using the bathroom or showering, and it's not like a all in one thing. In here, I also have these Japanese cherry blossoms. I just I like the simplicity and the height that these bring to the bathroom. I just love them in this space. Not too much color, but there's a little bit of greenery there. It's perfect. We also have a little tissue box, our speaker, because we always, or most of the time, we shower with music on. We have a pretty good amount of storage too, so down here we just store extra bathroom stuff. Darius has his stuff on that side, I have my stuff on this side. And then over on this corner, we just have some cotton swabs. The, our apartment actually did not come with this towel holder. This one is from Command. It just sticks on there which is so convenient we didn't have any like a towel holder whatsoever and then when we move we can simply just unstick it and it's been pretty sturdy it hasn't fallen no problems with it whatsoever and then here in this corner these I got from CB2 I have cotton pads we have some bar soaps and then some q-tips in here they're a nice size it holds quite a bit which i really like for the actual bathroom area where our toilet is i have this shag rug that i got from target it's really plush and comfortable for when we get out of the shower it's a little big they didn't really have another size our shower curtain is also from target it's kind of like this rougher material i don't turn on the light because you guys can hear the the fan <laughs> really loud but yeah shower curtain is target and then we do have a, a towel holder but we don't really use it to be honest because the space here is pretty small too this basket is from home goods and there i have wipes some febreze and then we have a trash bin this i got it off of amazon and it's so convenient especially for a bathroom you don't even have to touch the trash bin you don't have to get up to press down on the trash bin nothing all you do is you wave your hand over it and it opens up and that's it and then it'll close back up within a few seconds it's perfect for the bathroom really any room what i mainly wanted to do you can see i have a little command hook stuck on there i wanted to put some artwork in there and I did want to have them change the light in here to more of a warmer welcoming light, but we never got to do that. So we just kind of kept it as is. So on the left hand side over here, we have the office and here's like a quick overview of how it looks. In here, basically the only other thing I wanted to add was a rug because if you guys can hear, there's kind of an echo and it is a little bit empty. So I wanted to add contrast there, but we didn't get to doing that. So. We have two shelves over here. These units are from Ikea also. This whole area is from Ikea. I actually did a vlog where I was building these things and then kind of putting them together. And so I'll link that below for you guys as well. I like how clean it looks, but also at the same time, it has a little bit of personality. I did want to add maybe some like artwork up there. And then right here, I do store my clothes in this on in all these drawers here and i don't use this computer as much i know i got some people asking me like how i sit right there without it being uncomfortable the thing is i don't really use this computer unless i like really really have to i just have it there for when i have like bigger files or just kind of as a backup i got most of this decor from home goods this is from target the book is from amazon these are home goods and then i have a picture of when we went to cabo this little wooden thing is from target book is also from amazon amazon the plant is from like home goods marshalls and the book is from i think i got it from target or costco and then down here i store my makeup it is not organized so i'm just going to show you guys what it looks like on an everyday basis pretty much so these acrylic drawers are also from amazon and just some of these other ones I've kind of had for a while. So in here I have my extra skincare. I have eyeshadow palettes, lip colors. In here I kind of, you know, have eyebrow stuff, lip liners. I do want to find something to put my foundations in. Eventually maybe a Lazy Susan. My primers. Just all of that. And I like it because it's just, again, just like the living room, is just put away. I don't have to look at it. 
on an everyday basis. It's clutter free once it's closed. And then this lamp is from Marshalls. This mirror I got from Target. I like it first specifically for travel and it's just a huge mirror. So I just have it set there. Of course, my computer, printer. We also have a shredder on this side. And then on this other side, same thing. I have the same exact unit. These are called the Billy bookcase. So it's meant for books, but of course you can use it for anything. And I have some similar pieces on this side, the plants, the little uh, vases right there. This basket is from Target. This is from Walmart. This is from Target or Costco. And then I have this photo of us, I believe. Was this Valentine's Day? I think it was like one of those. And then I have some perfumes, some of my favorites, kind of my everyday ones. And then my jewelry. I didn't actually mean to leave it right here. I wanted to store this somewhere put away. I just haven't figured out where. But these stackable trays are really good. I got these from Amazon too. It comes in a set of three. So I got two sets and I have just kind of my necklaces. Second one are my earrings. I have it stacked up by what I use most on an everyday basis and then just other things down here more earrings Oh, and then in here just more makeup. This is more this side's more messy Makeup wipes nail polishes highlighters other perfumes that I have Backup hair stuff and just things that I don't want underneath the sink that I'd rather just come over here and get I have hair extensions down there my printer paper brushes. It's just not organized but hey at least you can't see it from out here right over here this bench i actually had it was a side table that i used in the living room but i just moved it in here as a bench i did want to get a computer chair or some sort of bench in here but for now i just have that and then this is also from ikea it's just a simple desk that just kind of does a job in there i just store receipts and like little files like that this mirror is from Ikea, pretty much this whole room is from Ikea. And on this side, I have this huge mirror. The same one that we have in the living room also is from Ikea. It's called the Povet mirror. It's almost as tall as the ceiling and it's just simple. It's a mirror that doesn't have too much going on. Over on this side, I have my closet. This is where I store all of my stuff. Darius's stuff is all in our bedroom, where it's pretty much in here. It's like color coordinated just because that's how I am. So I have my tank tops. I just bought some um, organizers, some tank top hangers to have better storage and so they take up less space. And then I have just shirts, white, because I wear a bunch of white and beige. And then down here I have my dresses and my jackets are just kind of back there nothing bougie or overly complicated it's just simple here and then i just store some of my shoes down here i mainly keep the boxes i know that at the container store they have shoe storage so i might end up getting some of those eventually to kind of store all my sneakers see these are the hangers that i was talking about i used to put my tanks all on one hanger and i would just pile them and i know some of you guys out there do this too you just pile them and you keep piling them in this little hook. And then when you're trying to get the shirt that's at the bottom, you have to take off all of the ones that are at, to at the top to get this one. So these are like a perfect solution for that. They ended up coming in, so I thought I would just show you. So you can hang up your tanks one by one and you don't have to take them all off in order to get the one that's all the way at the bottom because they're individually hung and it just saves so much space they have these for jeans as well but i mainly need them for tanks or you can even use them if you want to hang up your bras i just think they're so convenient and space saving for sure in between the bathroom and our office is our bedroom which is this door right here so i still <laughs> i showed these in my home decor haul and i'm gonna get some prints once we move and hang those up somewhere just those I had a planned to hang up here right in the entryway of our bedroom I just figured it'd be nice to have something there since this is the first wall that you kind of see when you first walk in Here's how it looks at first glance. So in here. I did want to put curtains I have the curtain rod and all but we didn't get to doing 
that and then i was thinking of putting artwork up here but i feel like it would have been just like way too much going on there i did want to keep our bedroom a little bit more masculine so i went for darker furniture for the nightstands and for our dresser which i'll show right now the nightstands i got from a local outlet called outlet by else they only have one locally they don't have an online shop it's literally you just have to go to that specific store to find it i don't know where these originally are from but they kind of give me would you say restoration hardware a little bit this is darius's side of the bedroom he sleeps on this side all his stuff is in there and then these mirrors right here are from ikea they're huge we did get these mounted but he ended up mounting them a little bit too high i didn't want them that close up to the ceiling but it's fine i think it looks fine and it it definitely makes the room feel a little bit bigger and it brings in just a little bit more light that's darius's closet that's where he stores all of his stuff same size as the other one and i do kind of like that it's just sleek so it doesn't really it's not like distracting headboard i got this from wayfair a while ago also pillows are from amazon these right here are from marshall's and then this one in the front i believe i got it from home goods this throw it's a throw slash blanket this is from target i love it it's very cozy and it's a knit material right now it is too hot for this so we just kind of throw this to the side before going to bed and then this is a new comforter that we got from amazon i like that first of all it's a little bit wrinkled i did dry it but it still came out wrinkly but it's fine it's very cooling lightweight it kind of feels like a hotel comforter i just love 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 it the other one that we had before just would make us sweat at night so now we have this one i'll link it below as well but i think it's really nice because it's plush it's cooling it's very very comfortable and this is all that we sleep with for right now and then here is my side i also don't really have much on my nightstand usually we have a lot of stuff on there but we cleaned it up for the video okay but I have a plant, a little faux plant, same mirror, goes all the way up as well, and then the same lamp. These lamps, I cannot remember where I got them from, but when I remember, I'll put it below in the description box. But the store that we got them from ended up closing. I think they closed all of their stores, which is unfortunate, but I did end up getting those on sale. It was a really good deal also. On here, I have the book that I'm reading, and this remote is pretty neat. So this is for our lamps. It turns them on and off. And it's convenient because I can turn Darius's lamp off with this remote and I don't have to get up if I'm already laying down in bed. It's just one of those like lazy, lazy person hacks. So I always have that right there or Darius will have it on his nightstand. And then when you get to this side of the room, we just have the same chair that we have in the living room this one's a little bit cleaner we weren't ready to get rid of them so we just kind of threw it in here it is a little crowded right here but it fits when we have laundry and we're like okay we'll do this tomorrow we just kind of throw it on that chair or this blanket too we'll grab it and throw it on there it's like the per in the perfect perfect area and it kind of goes with the decor too so we just have it there the same thing with our dresser we got it from the same exact place it's huge darius pretty much has all his stuff in there except these drawers i do have things in there this part is blurred out because up here we have our vision boards our vision boards are pretty pretty personal and detailed so maybe once we reach our goals or check these things off i will share with you guys because i do want to save these so we just have those there so when we wake up in the morning first thing we see are our goals that's his side this is my side right here and just kind of a little bit of inspiration and in this corner we just have our fan because we don't have a in this room and the ac that we have doesn't really reach all the way over here so we kind of just put it at the door and then it just blows in semi cool air that is our apartment as of right now where we have been for these past few months it is nice to give you guys finally a nice overview of everything and that way you guys can see exactly just the layout and again if any of you guys want to pull inspiration for your own Homes. so i hope you enjoyed any links i can find will be down below in the description box thank you all so much for spending a part of your day with me i love you all mucho and i'll see you all in my next video